The city of Haifa in northern Israel reeled Monday from a rocket attack launched from Lebanon the night before, hitting a central square. The rocket strike was a rare event in a country where air defense systems have largely protected major cities from mass damage. On Monday, cars bore smashed windows and buildings were damaged. Residents cautiously shopped and workers repaired fences around the impact site. We have a miracle because the rocket didn't fall on one of the buildings and it fell on the square, said Avu Han, Haifa's deputy mayor. Hezbollah has launched several volleys of rockets toward Haifa and other parts of Israel since tensions between Israel and Lebanon began to climb following the detonations of pagers and handheld communications equipment in Lebanon widely blamed on Israel. Since Israel has assassinated top Hezbollah officials, including the group's leader, Hassan Nasrallah, and unleashed a wave of airstrikes on southern Lebanon and parts of Beirut. Uh, yesterday at night, a uh, rocket uh, fall in this uh, square and uh, it make a, a very, a very massive uh, injured uh, in uh, this uh, building and also in uh, this building and uh, there was a few injured people here that we uh, bring them to the hospital. So uh, we have a miracle because it didn't fail, the rocket didn't fall on uh, one of the buildings and it's fall in the square, so uh, it was a miracle. המצב קשה, ואני חושב שבעולם לא יודעים מה, מה יש פה. כולם חושבים שאנחנו עושים בעיות לערבים, לפלסטינאים, אבל לא אנחנו התחלנו על זה. ועל מה אנחנו אשמים? אז צריך בעולם להבין מי, מי, מי אשם בדברים האלה. זה הכל. אבל אנחנו לא מבינים אותנו. איך, מה לעשות עם זה, אני לא יודע. צריך שלום, אבל אי אפשר לעשות שלום פה לפני לעשות משהו עם הטרוריסטים, כי הם לא מבינים, לא אכפת להם חיים, לא אכפת להם הכל, הם עושים מלחמה. הם לא אוהבים אותנו, הם פנאטים. אז זה, זה, אנחנו לא עושים מלחמה עם הלבנון עצמו, זה חיזבאללה, זה לא לבנון. זה בעיה, זה, זה, זה הבעיה הגדולה פה. אז אנחנו מקווים שיהיה שלום וכל העולם יהיה איתנו.
Kursor. At the Vovchansk aggregate plant, held by the Russians until recently, enemy commanders violently forced their subordinates to pursue futile resistance, thus dooming them to death amid the advance of the Ukrainian Defense Intelligence Units. This was reported by the Ukrainian Defense Intelligence Press Service. According to Ukrainian Defense Intelligence spokesman Andriy Cherniak, the mission to liberate the plant had been prepared for months and the mission's ultimate success greatly contributed to the effectiveness of further actions by Ukraine's defense forces. This was critical for facilitating our logistics as much as possible, supporting of our forces located in the area. This will further enable Ukraine's defense forces to conduct counter-offensive moves and drive the enemy out of Ukrainian land said the spokesman. He added that the Russians holding the plant suffered grave manpower losses because their commanders, through brutal violence, effectively condemned their soldiers to a senseless death. Actually, Russian commanders were doing some terrifying, wild and deranged things to their subordinates. It's about premeditated murders. It's about terror. This is another example where Russian soldiers have no rights, as they are not seen as human beings at all, Cherniak noted. On the 24th of September, special units of the Ukrainian Defense Intelligence fully liberated the territory of the Vovchansk aggregate plant, eliminating dozens of elite Russian fighters and capturing occupiers. The plant is now under the control of the armed forces of Ukraine. According to Ukrainian intelligence, Representative Andriy Yusov, preparation for the mission to liberate the plant took several weeks. Ukrainian military intelligence forces successful clearance of the factory building holds significant importance for future defense forces operations. It was necessary to simplify logistics and supply our forces based in this region. In the future, this will enable the Ukrainian defense forces to carry out counter-offensive operations and drive the enemy from Ukrainian land. Said Yusov. He added that the Russian forces at the plant suffered heavy losses as their leaders had essentially sent their soldiers to senseless deaths. Truly horrific, wild and bizarre things happened there, committed by Russian commanders against their subordinates, involving deliberate killings and terror. It's another example of how Russian soldiers have no rights and are not even regarded as human beings. Yusov emphasized, as reported earlier, special operations units of Ukraine's defense intelligence captured nearly 20 Russian invaders during the liberation of the Vovchansk aggregate plant. 